Biden-Harris administration leading the U.S. into World War III. America's future is under threat like never before. Right at this moment, in my opinion, our country is at the most dangerous level we've ever been. And I hate to say this, but we have a president who went on vacation a week ago, and now he came back and he went on vacation again. And we have people that are fighting all over the place and threatening our country as we speak. I don't think we've ever been closer to World War III than we are right now. It's a terrible thing. Christian Whiten is a former State Department official, and he joins me now. Are we really as close to World War III as, as we've ever been? Well, no, there's Trump hyperbole going on there. I think the president, uh, the former president, has a very good point. There's reason for caution, not alarm. Most people think the Cuban Missile Crisis was the closest we came to World War III, and I think that still holds true. There was also a major NATO exercise during the Reagan administration that the Soviets misinterpreted as the prelude to an invasion. That was pretty close to World War III. But this is a situation where you have uh, Russia in sort of a very aggrieved um, <laughs> sense of emotion for having been invaded. Now, they invaded someone else, so they have to expect that. You have the Middle East on fire. Uh, and the Pacific is calm relatively, although you do have China in a low-intensity conflict with our treaty ally, the Philippines. So sort of the kindling is there. The question is, is there a match that's going to light it? Well, it seems to me that Biden is trying to put a lid on the war in the Mideast and a lid on the war in Ukraine in hopes that that will stop China from invading Taiwan. That would be the flashpoint, wouldn't it? All hell breaks loose in the Mideast and Ukraine, and China takes advantage by going after Taiwan. That, the, is that the flashpoint possibility? It's, it's the highest possibility. And if you're Xi Jinping, if you're thinking of invading Taiwan before the end of your tenure, whether that's five or 10 years or 15 years from now, this would seem to be the best point in time. After all, we have a president who, unfortunately, is in command of nothing. Foreign policy is being run by three men, the Secretary of State, the National Security Advisor, and to a lesser extent, the CIA director, none of them doing it particularly well. Uh, but Xi Jinping, you know, we know he's a thug. We know he's a communist. Is he a killer? Um, it seems like uh, there aren't any signs of imminent invasion in the Pacific. So, again, there's reason for caution, but I would say here, not, not alarm. Uh, President Biden began his second straight week of vacation, despite saying he'd finish his presidency strong. I want you to listen to what John Kirby said when asked who is running the country. Watch this. Time and again, the question I am hearing from members of the general public, and which I put to you here, Admiral, is who is running the country? President Joe Biden. Is he a ceremonial figure in some sense at this point? Uh, James, now you know better than that. If you talk to Prime Minister Modi today, uh, he had calls with leaders uh, 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 in the region and uh, in, the, in Europe, President Zelensky. The president uh, is on vacation, but uh, you can never unplug uh, from a job like that, nor does he. Uh, look, Christian, the, the president is not sharp. He can't keep his train of thought together. Uh, is, is he really the guy who is running this country? Really? Yeah, he just isn't. That's the problem with being NSC spokesman. Sometimes you have to lie, I guess, for the good of the country. Um, Joe Biden is in command of nothing. It really is and has been the White House staff. You know, it's one thing is also if you had a strong secretary of defense who was integrated into a cohesive foreign policy team. But again, the people running the country, those three men I mentioned earlier, and in particular, Secretary of State Blinken, and the National Security Advisor, who are longtime Joe Biden staffers, going back to cap his vice presidency in Capitol Hill, they're the ones calling the shot. And that's just, just not good. Sometimes when a foreign leader needs to talk to the leader of America, he needs to talk to the leader of America. And that's just not an option right now. Christian Whiten, thanks for being here. We'll see you again soon, I promise. Thank you.